From the Howard Stop to 95th and Dan Ryan, the Red Line passes through a wide variety of communities, all with their own strengths, special quirks, and unique struggles. Today, we go down to the very end of the Red Line, to the community of Roseland, where Harlan Community Academy puts a special, personal touch to education as they prepare their students for the future. Roseland, like many other neighborhoods in the Chicago area, reflect the city's growing trend of declining population. In fact, Roseland has lost over 19.5% of its population since the year 2000, as predominantly African American families move out of Chicago in search of better economic opportunities. This trend trickles down to the neighborhood schools, like Harlan Community Academy, where the decline in population, as well as the presence of other Chicago public schools, have led to a significant decrease in enrollment. We are a small neighborhood school. We also are in a neighborhood as a neighborhood high school that's aging. So neighborhood high schools are here for students in the neighborhood to really be um, supplied with a free and appropriate public school education. Well, this is an aging community. Therefore, our students are coming from all over, but there's a decline because there's so many other options. Despite this decline in enrollment, which saw a school of 1,200 students shrink to 300, Principal Ramona Outlaw and her staff have turned this into an opportunity to develop personal relationships with their students. We have the privilege of being able to interact with our students very intimately because we're a small school. They, they built a bond um, with all the students. So if we get somebody to come in, we accept them already as family. Most of the Harlan staff, yeah. They all have like a little impact or a major impact on like the decisions I'm making, what I want to do. I know students by their first name. It's just what I do. It's what I did as a teacher. It's just part of my pedagogy to know students, be able to call their name, be able to relate and talk to them as people, not just a kid in the school where I'm an administrator. We get like familiar with each other and we uh, ask each other what we want to do and how we want to do it. And depending on what they say, it's going to the Harlan family, they're going to help you, they're going to support you, like, no matter what it is, so. Teachers, my principal, they, like, help me realize, like, my worth and, like, what I can do. So, I feel like they have, they play a big role in why I want to do what I want to do, like. Right? They're going to make sure you uh, get to where you're supposed to be, whether they got to make calls or set up appointments for people to come in. As long as you being successful and they see that you for real, they're going to they gonna help you, like, along out with that and make sure you're doing good in classes, anything offering tutoring, they do it all. To further prepare their students for life outside of high school, Harlan Community Academy has implemented Chicago Public School's new program, Learn, Plan, Succeed. Through Learn, Plan, Succeed, students are given the tools to develop a plan of action for their higher education and career goals. Many students were graduating without a clear idea of a career pathway. Like students would graduate and say, I'm going to college, or I want to go to college, and I want to major in this or that, but not really have a real connection into what that this or that meant for their future. Janice Jackson, who is our CEO, really in consultation with many principals, teachers, and even as a principal herself, knew that there was a need for our students to have more direction about how to plan for post-secondary success before you leave high school, and really to start that planning process in your freshman year, because then you could choose courses, you could choose things that you were doing in high school that would really impact your post-secondary future better. Learn, Plan, Succeed begins with a career inventory assessment during a student's freshman year. Through this assessment, students are given an idea of what careers they may want to pursue, along with information on how to correctly do so. Following the assessment, over the course of four years, students are given unique opportunities to shadow potential employers and participate in college visits. 
Students must present a concrete post-secondary goal to the Harland administration in order to graduate. Now our task as administrators, as counselors, as people who guide young people is to really help them choose pathways or think about courses or pathways very early. There are workshops with the advisors, with counselors, with their teachers in their classrooms. Teachers are then encouraged to plan lessons that really have a student understand different pathways. If I'm going to study uh, different histories, I have to go to school or study this major. If I'm in science and I'm in biology and I want to be a doctor, I have to really take more courses like this class, lots more. The productivity of the Learn, Plan, Succeed program has seen an extra boost from the already close-knit relationships between Harlan staff and students. Staff have used these relationships as a way to closely monitor and support students' postgraduate plans. Learn, Plan, Succeed helps them in the sense that they're able to talk to uh, someone in the building um, to even, you know, talk about what, what they're going to do after high school, what they might plan, because a lot of them you know, at home they might not have anybody to talk to about that, so they really haven't thought about it at all. Um, so Learn, Plan, Succeed just helps them to sit down and actually realize that, you know, this is really coming, it's going to be real. Um, and once you graduate, you got to have something. They lay it on you, they, they push you out there more to do it. So basically they back you up. So what you want to do, they're going to help you get to that goal that you want to do. They know now that they have to have a plan. They know now that part of that plan includes college, military, or making a livable wage. Why do they know that? Because myself, my staff, and everybody here has been trained to make sure that every conversation and every touch you have with a student, you're talking about what they're going to do when they leave here. You're talking about their future, and you better connect whatever it is you do in your role in this school to preparing them for that. You ask the question, and they'll say, no, I don't think that's for me. I don't want to do that. I don't want to go away to a college tour. I don't want to take a break away. But you know this kid because you've had conversations with them. Um, you want to sit down and make sure that they have a full understanding of what it is before you just allow them to just walk away from it. And that helps tremendously. When I first started thinking about going there, it was like a 50-50 chance. But when learn plans to see, it like it sent people my way and that that helped me to better understand what I'm doing and how is it will be done. So once that started happening, it started like pushing me to like grab on more to it and like keep a hold on to it. Many of them are like, oh, it's just uploading these documents and doing essays and filling out applications because we bug them about it. The long talks like pressure me to do all these scholarships and meet the deadline, make sure it's right, can't turn it in unless it's right, unless she looked over. Um, they're young people. You have to bug them about it or it won't get done. That's just who they are by nature. That's who an adolescent is. You have to constantly tell them to do something. But it's for their benefit. Little talks about I'm not, like me saying I'm not going to college, but I really know I'm going to college. Through individual relationships with students and the promise of future success with Learn, Plan, Succeed, Harlan Community Academy aims to increase enrollment without losing the comforts of a cohesive, family-like environment. So I came to the building with the knowledge that no matter how big or small a school is, if you provide students with an opportunity to really demonstrate who they are by providing them with great extra, extracurricular opportunities and making sure that they felt like they were a part of a family, then they would tell their friends and other students want to be a part of what they see here because they visit, or their parents have had interactions with me and this family that we call Harlan, and they like the fact that I deal with my faculty, my staff, and my students as family, and so they don't have a problem sending their students here, uh, their siblings, if you will. And really, that's how, we, that's how we're staying abreast. Students are students no matter where they go to school. They go here, they go to Kenwood, they go to Simeon. They are still young people, trying to be young people, studying, trying to go on and be successful. No child comes to school wanting to be unsuccessful. Like Jordan said, like, hiring like a family. <laughs>